The rubber compression molding process begins with a piece of uncured rubber which has been performed to a controlled weight and shape. This spray form is placed directly into the rubber mold cavity prior to mold closure. As the mold is closed, the material is compressed between the plates causing the compound to flow to fills the cavity. The material is held in the mold under high pressure and elevated temperature to activate the vulcanization process of the rubber. The cycle time is established to reach an optimal level of cure. At the end of the cycle, the parts are removed or ejected from the cavities and the next cycle begins. The mold safety interlock is provided to reduce the damage to the dye material. The fully automatic operation is provided on the machine with the help of PLC controller. The control panel mounted on the machine includes heater PID controls, a HMI display, various controls to operate the machine and emergency stop button. The double sliding stage provides an extra space to clamp in another die which helps to reduce the lead time. When the product is being removed from one die, the another die clamps with upper die and thus we can get twice production per cycle. So we can get output of two machines from a single machine. This will give us many benefits like less floor are required, less power consumption compared to two machines, less manpower required, less die coasting, etc. The vertical orientation of clamping zone helps in production of insert molding and various types of critical parts molding.